See, <clears throat> for years I was only a father. Then, some years ago, I became a grandfather. Thirteen years ago, our first grandchild was born, and then now we have many grandchildren. And I became a father-in-law uh, over the last 14, 15 years. So when I go to the homes of my children, I see them doing things which I may think, hey, that's not the way to bring up children. And the Lord tells me, you had your turn to bring up children. Now let them do it their way. Thank you, Lord. And I keep my mouth shut. And I say, that's not the way we did it in our home. The Lord said, you had time to do it in your home. Now let them do it their way. But there's a tremendous lust in the flesh of Adam to express my opinion. I want to stand before God and say, I have never done it in these 15 years in any of my children's homes. And I will never do it till Jesus comes because I have learned don't be a busybody in other people's matters. It's a, it's a mark of the devil. It's those who are inspired by the devil because the devil is called the accuser of the brothers in Revelation 12.10. And there's a spirit of accusation when we are giving an opinion to somebody. So this is the way I did it. Who said, are you God or something that your way is only the perfect way? No. So I'm telling you what I've, I just decided that. And so I have a wonderful relationship with all my children and with all my daughters-in-law. Every one of them. They love me because I don't interfere in their life. I pray for them before God. Stop, period, full stop. And if they ask me for advice, of course I give it. And I've discovered the more I keep myself out of their way, the more they come and ask me for advice. Because I don't interfere. And I say, if there's something wrong, I pray for them. Do you believe in prayer? I'm not talking, you may not be a father-in-law, you may be, but this lust to interfere is there in the flesh. And I tell you this, if you've been in this church and you heard me, I've come to this church for 14 years. We have 14 years, we have had conferences here. Many of you have been here many years. But I'm telling you from my experience of 40 years in India, there are people who have heard me for years and have not changed in this area. And they make a nuisance of themselves everywhere. And I'll tell you why. I want to show you this other verse. In the same 1 Peter 4, where it says, don't be a busybody in other people's matters. It says something more of how we can avoid being a busybody in other people's matters. 1 Peter 4, and it says in verse 17, mark a mark of the people who belong to God's family. I want to be a part of God's family, the household of God it is called here. It is time for judgment to begin with the household of God and it must begin with us first. So the judgment must begin with me first. I must judge myself 